Hello everyone, my name is Lacey. I am an independent Scentsy consultant and today I have my Scentsy empties and half empties from the last many weeks to share with you. I don't remember the last time I did an empties video. I am pretty sure last time I didn't even get around to posting my vendor empties. I am going to make sure to do that video right after I do my Scentsy empties. So I am separating them because it's a lot. But yeah, let's get into what I've melted from Scentsy recently. Some of these I remember melting and some of them I do not. <laughs> so the first one here is Scary Good. I love the scent. It's in the Fall Winter Catalog. Is it in the Fall Winter Catalog? Now I'm forgetting. <laughs> I think it is because I'm pretty sure I took it out of my club. I had it in my club. I believe it came back because I took it out of my club. So this is really nice. This is one of my favorite labels ever. This one and Ghostly Greetings are my favorite labels. They're so cute. This is just a really good, almost like a smoked pumpkin scent to my nose. It might be like, it, it might be bur um, butterscotch or I don't know, maybe caramel or something, but it smells like a smoked pumpkin kind of scent to me. And I do really enjoy Scary Goods, so that is one that I would repurchase. I'm not sure that I have any more in my collection right now, but I would repurchase that one. The next one here is Cashmere and Corduroy. What is on there? I don't remember exactly what's in this one. I think it has some bergamot. Yeah, there's definitely some bergamot in here. Maybe like some vanilla and a cashmere note, I'm assuming. It is really nice. It's very sweet to me, so I don't reach for this one super often. But it's a really good performer. I feel like this one is strong and pretty long lasting. I do really like the scent. It's just I have to be in the mood for it because it is so sweet to me. Then I have a very peri pumpkin. I do love this scent. It's like a fresh pumpkin. Without the like slightly off-putting note that an actual fresh pumpkin has. <laughs> Like when you dig into a pumpkin to make a jack-o'-lantern, that's what this is, but without the like slight rotting fruit note. Yeah, it's really nice. I have this in my club. I'm kind of toying with taking it out because I do have a few bars, I believe, and I don't know. I like it, but do I need it? Ugh, I would probably regret taking it out because it's just such a good fresh pumpkin without any like cinnamon or sugar or anything baked or added to it. It's, it's a really nice fresh pumpkin scent and it performs well for me. I have, looks like two painted leaves in here. This one's kind of gooey. Um, I don't remember when I melted the first one but I just melted one on Thanksgiving. I always melt painted leaves on Thanksgiving through the living room, dining room, and entryway. I do the whole bar. It's not necessary. It's a very strong scent, but I don't mind it. And we only had my mom come over this year, so I don't think she minded either because she didn't say anything. I love painted leaves. It's just so fresh and crisp and fall and outdoorsy. It is beautiful and it is in my club and it will have to stay there. I do have several bars of this, but I just don't think I can take it out of my club because I, like I said, I melted every Thanksgiving. It has that scent memory attached now. So it's going to have to stick around. All right. The next one is pumpkin marshmallow. Again, I don't remember <laughs> when I melted this one. May have been... I am loosely following along with the wax melting challenge that Patricia Gates is hosting. I think there was a day to melt a scent that reminds you of Thanksgiving, possibly, and that's probably when I melted this one because 
I do typically melt this one on Thanksgiving in the kitchen. This year I switched it up, but this still reminds me of Thanksgiving because typically the last several years I have melted this in the kitchen on Thanksgiving. I love this scent. I have a few bars left. I had it in my club, but I took it out, but I typically only do two cubes in the kitchen on Thanksgiving. So I feel like a few bars is going to last me a few years. So I'm good with not having it in my club, but it's just, to me, it smells like sweet potatoes with marshmallow on top, which is like my favorite Thanksgiving food. <laughs> it doesn't necessarily smell like pumpkin to me. It smells like sweet potatoes. It's more, much more of a like fresh, more of a fresh pumpkin scent. There's not a ton of spice in there to me, but it comes across as sweet potato, in my opinion. Okay. I have two bars of Jack's Obsession. Jack's Obsession. I don't know why I can't talk today. I remember melting one of these, but I don't remember <laughs> melting the other one. But I love this scent. It's a favorite of mine. Oh man, I need to see... I don't even know if I stuck this in my club. And I don't know if it's still available to stick in your club. Ugh. I took it out because I figured it was gonna come back and then it did and I forgot to put it back in and now I'm worried. <laughs> I have to go check. You know, this one's really icky. Oh, this is just the best like spiced apple scent ever. It is so good. It doesn't say anything about like a woodsy note or anything in the scent notes, but I swear there is something like cedar or something in here. To me, anyway. Oh, I love this. It's green apple, which isn't always my favorite, but it works perfectly in here. This is just a bomb.com scent. I love Jack's Obsession. I need to see if I can stick it in my club. It's so good. Such a good performer for me. And I just love the scent. All right, next one is Warm Pumpkin Drizzle. So I was upset that I forgot to stick this one in my club. And then I think it showed up in a bundle in a flash sale or something. And I snatched it up so fast. Because I loved this the first time I melted it. This time around, it was just like, okay. <laughs> I wasn't obsessed with it. And I was kind of bummed when this showed up in the sale and it, you had to get the bundle. Even though I pretty much liked everything in the bundle. I dropped it. Um, I was wishing it were just listed by itself so I could just order like six of this bar. Now I'm kind of glad that I didn't do that. I do still like it, but I wasn't like as in love with it as I was the first time I melted it. So it's nice. It, I don't know. It has like a warm kind of pumpkin spice. And then there's like a pineapple note and a cherry note. I want to say in here, there's definitely a fruitiness to it and it's really unique and nice, but I don't, I just, I was like, oh, I don't. I'm good with that. I don't need any more. Not to say that I wouldn't grab another bar if it came up in a flash sale again, but I'm not like, man, I wish I had so much more of that one. Um, next I have, there's wax near my nail. Next I have eucalyptus wreath. I love this one. This is a favorite of mine. I believe this is a bestseller also. So I will still stick it in my club at the end of the season, but I feel like it'll come back, but you just never know. It is so good, so fresh. It's like a mix between like a medicinal eucalyptus and an earthy eucalyptus, and it's like slightly green and ugh, I, it's just, it's so good. And it's such a good like palate cleanser in your house in the fall or in the winter. I mean, really you can melt this year round, but especially in the fall and winter in between all the spiciness and the bakery and the apples and the cranberries and all that throw this in one day and it's gonna just clean the air in your house it's so good and refreshing then i have 
Palo Santo and Cinnamon. I really, really like this. Really like this. I did like the original Palo Santo that Scentsy had out. I thought it smelled very authentic to Palo Santo. If you've ever burned Palo Santo, it very much smelled like that. Um, but I liked this one even more. And I like it on cold, but it's also like there's something in it that I feel like it would give me a headache. But when it was melting, I didn't get that at all. It was really nice. It just smelled like really cozy and just like you have this really clean home in the middle of fall or winter and you're just so cozy inside in your like freshly cleaned home. <laughs> So yeah, I really like this one. I need to get some more of it for the rest of winter and decide if it needs to go in my club at the end of the season. We will see. This performed super well. It was really long lasting for me and it was strong. So I really like that one. Highly recommend if you have similar scent preferences to me. If you like woodsy and spice, give that one a try. Next, I have Autumn Road Trip, another favorite of mine. Last year, I was like really in love with this scent. I still really like it, but I'm not as obsessed as I was last year. It's just a really good, fruity, fresh, outdoorsy scent. It's a dupe for Bath & Body Works Autumn, which is just a really nice scent. Yeah, it's like apple and then like tree, <laughs> but not winter, more fall. I don't know. I get like apple and balsam maybe and just this like outdoorsy freshness. I swear I pick up a fig in this scent. I'm pretty sure it doesn't say there's fig in here, but I swear I am smelling fig in Autumn Road Trip. Let me know what you think. Love the scent, it's a good performer. Try not to overdo it on that so I don't like fall out of love with it, but I really, really like that scent. Okay, next one. Haunted Mansion, three thumbs up. I'm pretty sure I stuck this in my club. I think it's too late to do it now. I really hope I did because I missed out on it last time. <laughs> I wanted to put it in my club and I missed out on it. I'm pretty sure I stuck it in there because I, I didn't want to didn't want to repeat the last time it was available. So this, first of all, love the label. I love the Haunted Mansion. I love the ride. I love the movies. And I love the scent. Oh, it's so good. It's like a warm pumpkin bread. Some people say this is really spicy to them. To me, it's not. It has some spice in it, but it just kind of makes it warm rather than spicy, to me at least. Oh, it's so good. It's just like this really warm, yummy, pumpkin-y bread scent. <laughs> it's so good. I really hope I put that in my club but that would definitely be a repurchase in the future. Okay, then I have Fall Feelin', and I really, really liked this one. I forget what the notes are. I should have brought a catalog over here. I think this one's in the catalog. I hope so. I hope this was a catalog scent, not a harvest scent. I don't remember. But it's so good. It's like fresh. Kind of outdoorsy, a little bit of a fruity note, a little bit of spice. It's like, it's really nice. <laughs> There's just something to this that is like very addictive to my nose. There might be a citrus in here, but I don't mind it. Man, that's good. I really, really like that one. I will definitely get more. That's, I really hope this is in the catalog. I think this is in the catalog. I think it was a different, was it Forever Fall? I think that one 
I don't know. Now I'm confused. I think Forever Fall was in the Harvest Collection, but I could be mixing them up. I hope that one's in the catalog because I want to get more of it. The next one I have is Bright Cider Life. Love this one. It is in one of my clubs because I did not want to be without this one and it did not come back. I am so surprised this didn't come back. It's such a good scent. I feel like people were sleeping on this one and missed out. This is... Oh, <laughs> this is like pumpkin and apple and spices it's like a darker cider kind of scent I've mentioned this before but super tarts has a scent or a scent oil called harvest ale I think is what it's called and this kind of reminds me of that yeah it really does Man, is this good. It almost also kind of comes across as like a bakery. Like I almost pick up, I don't know, like a graham cracker or something in here. And I feel like, was it Susan? I think Susan Fitzpatrick said that this one comes across as bakery to her when she melts it. And I can kind of see that. It is so good. I can't believe that one was discontinued. <laughs> it must not have been selling, but people really missed out on that one. They they definitely should have given that one a try <laughs> so good okay it's such a good performer too all right the next one is falling apples i picked this one up this fall because i wanted to give it another try i believe it was new last fall and i just wanted to give it another try it's like a woodsy apple scent which i typically love and i did really like this I don't think it's one that I need to club at the end of the season. I might grab another bar if it comes back next fall. I would much rather melt Jack's Obsession, even though that's not technically a woodsy apple. To me it is. I definitely get a woodsy note in there. I don't know if anyone else does, but for me that is the perfect woodsy spiced apple. This one is good though too. Very different. Um, and it's not like a must-have, but I enjoyed it while it was melting. It performed pretty decently. It wasn't like blowing me out of the house, but it was definitely present. The next one is Golden Garland. So this is one of the new scents for fall and winter this year. And I really, really like this one. I will say it reminds me of Autumn Road Trip. I don't know. I'm gonna kind of side by side compare here. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's in Golden Garland. I forget. But it reminds me of Autumn Road Trip, like without that fig note that I get from Autumn Road Trip. Yeah, it has this like outdoorsy freshness to it. A little bit of fruitiness. I don't know. It's it's kind of similar to Autumn Road Trip to me. So I do really like it. I do want to get more of it just to see, I don't know, if I need it. Like, is it so similar to Autumn Road Trip that I only need one of them? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to turn this a little bit. Okay. The next one is Vanilla Barnwood. I thought I was going to love this one. It's okay. There's something in it, whatever the woodsy note is in here, and I think it's sandalwood. I could be wrong. But whatever the woodsy note is in here, it kind of gives me a headache. But it's also really nice. <laughs> and I didn't mind it as much on warm. It performed well. I don't know. This is from the Holiday Collection. I don't know if I need to try any more of that or not. I'm kind of back and forth about it, but I feel like if I don't love it, um, I'm, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to get more of it. All right. Then we have Scarlet Sunflower. I love this one. I melt this on Thanksgiving as well. I do this one in the bedrooms and bathrooms on Thanksgiving, and it's so nice. It's actually still going and today is Saturday 
So I put it in on like Thursday afternoon and I can still smell it on Saturday. I don't even know what time it is, like five o'clock. So nice though. It has, I wanna say like apple and cranberry and sunflower. It has like a body hair feel to it, but it's just really unique to me and really pretty. And I will probably stick that one back in my club at the end of the season, especially because I melt it on Thanksgiving. Again, it has that scent memory attached to it. I melted under the oak tree from the, what was this collection called? I don't remember. <laughs> What was this collection called? Open range? Not open range. Uh, oh my gosh, why can't I remember? I don't know. I liked this collection. This is the first scent that I've melted from it and I really liked it. I did this in the bedrooms and bathrooms and it was good. This one has like apple, obviously. Well, not obviously, it says under the oak tree. I was thinking it said under the apple tree. It has some apple, some of that oak note, some leather, but the leather isn't overpowering. It's really nice. And this was a long lasting one too. Like it wasn't as strong after the first day, but you could definitely still smell it and it lasted for several days. So I might need more of that one, one way or another, I don't know. The next one is Churro Churro. I love Churro Churro. I didn't when it was originally out, but I do now. I have it in my club. I think this was the last bar I had in my collection though. I don't know, but I definitely have it in my club. It's so good. It's just a cinnamon sugar pastry, but it's so good. It's just like a warm melt in your mouth cinnamon sugar pastry. And it performs really well for me. I know there's been some debate about the performance of it. I get really good performance. I only really melt it in my kitchen. Um, I do two cubes in each warmer, so four cubes all together in the kitchen. And then I also finished this bar in the back room. And I have three warmers back there. So... I did four cubes somehow. I probably put two cubes in the warmer that's more in the middle of the room and then one cube in each of the other warmers, but it performs so well for me in the kitchen and the back room. Um, so I definitely will continue to get this one. It's so good. It's like mouth watering. <laughs> I'm running out of room, but I'm gonna make it work. The next one is Gimme Candy. I forget what I what the prompt was the day I melted this. I I feel like it was like a fun scent or something. I don't remember, but my daughter had her friends over to watch a movie and so I put this in. And it was really good. I am glad that it was really good because the last time I melted it, it smelled like straight up maple syrup to me and I was like, "No." my nose changed or the wax changed or something but this time it smelled like butterscotch pudding which is what I want it to smell like that's why I like it so much so I think I just have to melt this one in fall the last time I melted it it was summer and I think it was just too hot and it was too sweet so I'm not gonna make that mistake again I will keep that one for fall that is currently available in the catalog and I will probably stick it in my club at the end of the season my mom really loves that one too it's a really good performer okay so in my sunset haul that will probably go up before this video I don't know one way or the other but I have a sunset haul video I hauled a bar of breakfast in bed and I said that I could now melt the bar that I have in my collection, but apparently I had already melted it <laughs> because here it is in my empties. Um, I, I don't know guys, this bar smells different from the bar that I got just the other day. I don't know. The new bar smells like straight up pumpkin pecan waffles to me. And this one, 
I get the pumpkin pecan waffles, but I'm also getting this really yummy, like, berry note. And that's why I like breakfast in bed. Um, so I don't know, maybe I'll just let that other one sit a little bit and see if it changes at all. I just don't love pumpkin pecan waffles, but for some reason I like how it blends with the other notes in this scent, so I don't know. I really enjoyed that while it was melting. It was great, super strong, really, really liked it. Okay, I tilted you down a little bit. I don't know if that's gonna make it better or worse. Anyway, uh, the next one here is Cashmere Leaves. This was from, I think this was in the Harvest Collection. I like this one, I might, try to get another bar to try it again. I wasn't like in love with it, but I did like it. I thought I was going to like it a lot more. Maybe I just set my expectations too high. It's nice. I definitely get like an apple note. There's like a little bit of spice in here. Yeah, it's like a spiced apple. With a little bit of a woodsy note and then this like smooth kind of cashmere. But there's definitely spice in here because my lip is burning from smelling the clam. <laughs> I do like it. I don't know. I'm kind of going back to Jack's Obsession is like the spiced apple woods note or scent for me but I kind of want to try this one again we'll see I might I might try to grab another bar of that I don't think I can get all this wax in here we only have a few left the next one is midnight mahogany I really really like this one this is a new one for the fall winter catalog on cold there's like I like it but there's a note that I don't love on warm, I just, I loved it. Ugh, it's so good. It's woodsy, but it's fresh. Man, that's one that I could just melt every day. <laughs> Ugh, it's so good. I will definitely be getting more of that. Possibly clubbing that at the end of the season. Then I have Frosted Vanilla. This is a favorite of mine, it's so good. I will definitely club this one. I had this in the bedrooms and bathrooms. It lasts for days and I keep my warmers on 24 seven. They're all, yeah, they're all Scentsy warmers up there. I mean, all I have going right now are Scentsy warmers. I have a few warmers that aren't Scentsy warmers that I pull out sometimes. But right now, everything that I have going is a Scentsy Warmer. This is so good, you guys. And it's good on cold, but it's like 50 times better on warm. It's just this really woodsy vanilla. It's like a vanilla birch scent. If you've smelled a vanilla birch scent in your life, you can probably imagine what this smells like. It's just like a little bit better <laughs> than most of vanilla birch scents. I don't know why, but it's so good. It performs so well. This is this is a top tier Scentsy scent, in my opinion. And the last one I have here is Wizarding World Harry Potter. This one is always so difficult for me to say. This is a favorite of mine. It is in the current catalog. I hope it stays in the catalog so I don't have to club it, but if it goes away, I will club it because it is so good. Ugh. This one, like if I could only melt one scent in my house for the rest of my life, you would think this would be a really difficult decision, but I feel like this would be the one that I would pick because I love it all the time. I'm never like not in the mood for it. And I would want this to be like my signature scent. You know what I mean? Like some people, they only melt or burn like a couple different scents in their house so their scent their their house always has 
you know, the same scent and you just recognize it when you walk into their house. Sometimes I wonder <laughs> because I'm melting a different scent every day or people like confused when they come to my house. I don't know, but if I could have a signature scent for my house, it would be this one. It's, it's just perfection to me. It is like apple and mahogany and vanilla and I don't even know what else, but it is so good. It's perfect. It's strong. It's slightly cologne. So if you don't, I don't know. I would say if you don't do cologne whatsoever, like at all, you might not like this one. It's definitely not like an Axe body spray or anything. It's just, it's like this woodsy apple vanilla yumminess. There might be some, I don't know, there might be some amber or something else in here. I feel like there's something I'm smelling that I'm not um, remembering what it is, but I love the scent. It lasts for days. It is strong. It is so good. And I hope this one sticks around because <laughs> I, I don't want to have to put it in my club, but like I said, I definitely will if need be. So that is all of the Scentsy that I've gotten through in the last however many weeks. Um, not as much as I would typically get through in that amount of time. It's probably been at least a month. I don't know, but at least a month. Um, yeah, not as much as I would typically get through, but it's still a good bit of wax to go through. So I'm happy with it. And then hopefully this upcoming month I can get through a lot more. We'll see. Let me know what you've been melting and loving or melting and hating. Are any of your favorite scents in this pile right here in front of me? Or which of these scents would you like to try at some point? Let me know. Let me know what you're thinking about the Harvest Collection scents, the new fall and winter scents, the holiday scents. I just want to talk to you guys and hear what you have to say. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to go record my vendor empties and half empties. And I hope you're all doing well. I will talk to you all later. Bye.